doing? Actually, who cares? Shut up and let me talk. To me, crime is like any other business, except with more killing and less resumes. Yet both use an equal amount of paper clips. It don't matter if you're a banker or a good fella. You still gotta climb the corporate ladder. Jimmy, give me a ride to the track. I'm feeling lucky. Ah! And can I borrow your pants? Unless you're Cheech. He always had a different career philosophy. I'm telling you, Jimmy, the key to success is aiming for the middle. You mean like a gut shot? I mean your career. If you're on the bottom, you're always going to get stepped on. Ain't that right, Mario? Did you have to wear cleats? I can't find my regular face stepping shoes. Anyhow, if you aim for the top, you got a long way to fall. Like that time I tried doing it on a Ferris wheel? That was a fall from Grace. <laughs> Remember Grace, Jimmy? With the cans? Later, I saw what Cheech meant. Ah! How'd it go? See? Gambini'd still be alive if he just aimed a little lower in life. Or if Jimmy aimed for the wall instead of the window. You do understand, Mr. Middleman, that you're the reason I had to kill him. Understanding is for overachievers. Well, you aimed us to the middle of nowhere, you stinking mook! <laughs> you stupid! If you think I'd kill Gambini all over again to save Cheech's half-assed ass, <laughs> forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the Gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds say they heard that they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Only four weeks left of summer break. You can do this, Cookie. You can totally do this. Yo, Ma, we're out of pork rinds. So what? Get up off your butts and go buy some more. But we want to find out if this broad says yes to the dress. Y'all got anything more see-through? What a day. I'm running out of ways to look busy at work. Nice example, Jimmy. No wonder the kids lays around all day. Take it easy. Lazing around is what summer break is for. Now, how about some pork rinds for Daddy? We ate them all. You kids bum around all day on my sofa, watching my TV, eating my pork rinds, and you can't even bother to tell your mother to go and buy more? That's it! You're all getting summer jobs! Hey, where'd they go? You! Get your resume together! <laughs> I can't get a job. I've been fired from everyone I've ever had. Welcome to the meat pit. Before you order, here's a video of where your hamburger came from. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Would you care for fries with your massacre? The only place I'm fit to work is in a science lab, or perhaps some sort of theoretical think tank. So, if you'll excuse me. Not so fast. You're coming with me, Steve No Jobs. Congratulations, Petey. You had the best and only application in our summer hiring spree. Agnes, bring Nemo around. You're going to be pointing out all the exciting Regina landmarks as our summer tour bus barker. Go put all them acting classes to work, kid. Teresa took the acting classes. Don't you know me at all? Whoopee! Summer's officially begun. You're a tour buff, McCool? Ah, there's nothing like being regaled with Regina's tantalizing history in an open-top bus whilst the wind tickles your scalp. Welcome to showbiz, Petey. No stop, so here's a travel mug to pee in. <laughs> If you look to your left, you'll see one of Regina's most, um, prestigious grain elevators. Imagine the grain that's been elevated here. And this one is... red. Sexy. And now we will end with a dip in Regina's historical municipal outdoor pool. <laughs> that's the whole tour? Two grain elevators in a swimming pool? Look, everyone, there's a jellyfish in the pool. No, that's a tampon. So, how was the job hunt? Oh, it was, uh, brutal. Yeah, yeah, we had to fill out applications in, like, triplication. <laughs> Do I smell fake butter topping? Are those popcorn crumbs? Aha! Movie tickets! You weren't out looking for jobs. You were out seeing paranormal activity 
pretend, same shit, different house. It was a scary documentary. That wasn't real, Teresa. You're such a sucker. Oh, there's tons of suckers out there who want to connect with the spirit world. Uh, here we go. Back in my Madam Scam Your days, I fleeced marks every which way from Sunday. I got an idea how we can make money off of that paranormal crap. Ew, no way I'm touching ghost poo. How are you not in summer school right now? I slip my homework in with Petey's. He does it without even noticing. Does anyone know how many pounds of grain one of these elevators can hold? Anyone? Would you keep it down? Thank you, sir. He was talking to you. Oh. I could say just about anything and it wouldn't matter. This park on your right is where a real Bigfoot was seen drunk. Snacking on a number of small dogs. And uh, this wheat field is known as Area 55 huh? because a UFO crashed here back in the 50s. The aliens were buried, and the next year, the crop was blue. Next up, we're heading to Regina's most deadly deciduous, otherwise known as the Murder Tree. Ooh, can we have a picnic there? Sure, but it might make a picnic of you. <gasps> Sorry, folks, this tour is full, but there will be another one tomorrow. Wowzers, Petey's really turned the tour around. People actually care what my know-it-all kid has to say? We can finally crack open the I Heart Regina shirts and wear them without people laughing at us. <laughs> it's like being attacked by a thousand velvet brushes! Mademoiselle Konya, at your service. Oh, thank God. It started yesterday, just after your pamphlet conveniently appeared in our mailbox. Please, help us. Silence! Spirits, announce yourselves. <laughs> ah! Ah! The spirit is really pissed about something you did in your past. Oh, God. Is this about the elderly man I ran over in college and blamed on my boyfriend who then committed suicide in prison? Uh, yes. And it'll be 300 bucks to bust this ghost. Double it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I meant 600. Great news, everyone. This has all been a terrible dream. Regina tourism numbers are through the roof thanks to the initiative of one particular employee. Premier O'Shea has commissioned yours truly to announce a promotion for the aforementioned go-getter. I owe it all to the Executive Success Self-Awareness Rodeo at Lake Waskasu. Introducing the new staff supervisor of Regina Tourism, Petey McDougal. Huh? Petey? I knew I should have signed up for the self-esteem booster derby! Stupid Toby! Stupid, stupid, stupid! Now that you're running the office, Petey, you may want some help running the tours. Boo! Someone with a deep passion for Regina history and 96 vacation days saved up. Hint, hint. No, no! I'm still running the tours. I wouldn't want you exposing my lies. I mean, wasting your time. You might be my boss, but you're not the boss of me. <laughs> oh, look. It's time for me to avoid confrontation. <laughs> Agnes, you ready for another bus tour? Look at you, rising to the top of Regina tourism. For once, my pride in you outweighs my shame. Thanks, but the other employees seem a bit disgruntled. Could you smooth things over for me? Sure thing. And you know what's great about you being my boss? I don't have to call in sick no more. I can just shout from the couch. <laughs> You're funny. Thanks, Pop. Who's joking? Yo, Tobes, I know my family taking over the business comes as a shock. Very perceptive. Percepticon. Give the kid a chance, will ya? You were once the guy on top. It's not his fault you blew it. Well, now that I'm not the boss anymore, I guess I can finally let my hair down. Schnapps? It's Peach. To Petey. Whatever. Look at all this money. I can finally buy myself a unicorn. 
Those things are extremely rare. You ain't buying nothing. We gotta keep Ma in the dark about this or she'll try and horn in. So keep your yap shut. I won't say nothing. As long as you cut me in. The only thing I'll be cutting is your tongue out. Oh, cookie. All right, fine. But you better pull your weight. I'm already carrying one useless moron on this caper. Yeah! Oh, cookie. I said all right. What are you doing? Nothing. It's time for my bed. We was just talking about your best son, who's my boss I ever had. <laughs> Is this what you meant by getting Toby on my side? You're drunk! You're drunk! <laughs> <laughs> it smells like peaches, beans, and insubordination in here. Knock, knock. Who's there? How? <laughs> I'm writing you both up for drinking on the job. That's an Article 48. And breaking wind in front of a superior. That is a 22. We were just toasting to celebrate your promotion. Tell it to the naughty corner, McDougal. I ain't sitting in no naughty corner. And since when do we have a naughty corner? Shut it. Things better change around here or the staff will. <sighs> I... Agnes, I just article 26 in your purse. I'm sorry, Pop, but I had to make an example of someone. You humiliated me in front of everybody. Go to your room. You're grounded. You can't ground me. I'm your boss. At work, you are the boss. At home, I'm the boss. Oh, yeah? Well, just you wait till we get to work tomorrow. Yeah? You just wait till we get home from work tomorrow! Which will be around midnight because you'll be working late. Boost. I'm already paying for myself. Ow! You can make scarier noises than that. You sound like Pop putting on his shoes. I'm stuck. Get me out of here. Go on. Bring back our little butter ball. <laughs> Easy! You're gonna pull my arm off. This is ruining my hair. <clears throat> what the hell are you doing in here? I got scared out there alone. I hear this house is haunted. Just back out so we can start the scam. I'm stuck. Nice. I'm calling the psychic. Happy birthday, former subordinate. Jesus, that thing's more fireball than cake. How old are you? What's this? An office birthday party? Why wasn't I invited? I like cake. I like singing. You know what? Regina tourism includes everyone in birthday celebrations. Everyone or no one. <laughs> I fucking hate that guy. I gotta live with him. That must be about as fun as a chapped ass on a long bike ride. Let me tell you something about Boss Man. He once created an app named Roxy to call his phone every day so people would think he had a girlfriend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Mr. Big Shot's too good for blow-up dolls. And get this, he still sleeps with plastic sheets. <laughs> I stopped wetting the bed in my 20s. Oh, it gets better. Whenever he watches scary movies, he has to sleep in our bed. <laughs> You're fired! What? Oh, hey, Roxy. Now's not a good time. Can I call you back, babe? <laughs> <laughs> We're out of pork rinds. So go to the store and get some. But I want to see if she says yes to the dress. The dad's a cheapo and I think he's about to have a stroke. Huh? There he goes. What a day. Someone
someone pooped in my desk. Guess I owe Toby five bucks. Can you turn on the news, please? And get your feet off the couch. But my big fat Alaskan gypsy lumberjack wedding is on next. When you work all day, you can watch whatever moronic show you want. That's not fair! Petey, for Christ's sake, just hire your father back! Why would I hire a guy who thinks the photocopier is an ass camera? Yeah, well, I wouldn't go back even if you paid me. And by the way, I'm still getting paid. Of course you are. It's a Canadian government job. How do you drink this stuff? Where's Mademoiselle Kanya? I left her a message hours ago. I'm calling again. I told you we shouldn't have left our phones in the car. The last thing we need is you texting some meathead boy toy while we're working. Don't be stupid. Big Mike can't read. Ah, oh, I'm starving. Help! Get us out of here! Shut up! Why should he? Aside from losing a little weight, there's no plus side to being trapped in here. have so much character. If these walls could talk... Well, they're talking now, Dan! Happy! You hear that? <clears throat> you had your freaking phone the whole time? I was saving the battery for selfies. Quick, the battery's dying. Who are you calling? I'm calling Ma to come and get us. Crook, before you do anything, bring us a jumbo cheese and answer me. Agnes, I need us to pull together as a team, okay? There is no I in team. But you can spell me with part of it and ta with the other part. Great news, Petey. Premier O'Shea wants the tours bumped up to 12 a day. What? I suppose this means a few Regina After Dark tours. Sounds positively tantalizing. For Canada! We're lusting over a moonlit grain elevator is about to become a thing! Is he kidding? You guys are really gonna have to pull up your socks. Wait! Where are you going? To the liquor store to pull up her socks, you dick! Jeez, kid, you look terrible. Don't start. I'm not in the mood. Look, I'm not saying this as a disgruntled former employee that you totally screwed over. I'm saying this as your pop. You gotta quit. I can't. I just can't. Sure you can. You walk into your own office, you drop a deuce on the desk, and you strut out like a man. What's so hard about- Because I lied! I made up fake Regina history so the tour would be more exciting. You bullcrapped the whole thing? I'm impressed. If my lies are exposed, I'll be a laughing stock. I'm just gonna have to run the tour for the rest of my life. You're being a little dramatic. I'm glad to see them acting lessons paid off. That was Teresa! <sighs> Goodbye Ivy League PhD scholarship, hello basement apartment and TV dinners in my dirty underwear. That reminds me, where's Cheech? Look. I'm proud of you, son. You rose to the top on lies, and you'll do anything to protect the scam. Just like a true Falcone. But... Mm. Oh. oh, poor kid. Seriously, though, where the hell's Cheech? Where the hell's everybody? Ah, oh, yes. The spirits are present, and they are... Stolen! Poor things don't know they crossed over. Probably died because they cut the wrong person out of a job. Can you get rid of them? Yes. But you must leave this place so I have a clear channel with the little shits. I mean spirits. You know, I should leave you three up there to rot for not cutting me in on this. It was them, Cook. I begged. I pleaded. But they wouldn't have you. Nice impression of Pop, you rat. I've been running spirit scams longer than all of you. Fine, sorry. Now get us out of here and we'll give you... 30%! 70! 50! Have a nice afterlife! Wait! Don't go! 80% we got a deal! Deal! Cheech! Get ready to cross over to the other side! <laughs> you hit Cheech in the face! Rumor has it... <gasps> Ooh, that's where the wheat pirates buried their treasure before sailing back to Alberta. 
What is it, Pop? Too bad the bus didn't start, huh, son? You're welcome. What are you talking about? I cut the starter cable so you wouldn't have to do the tour. No bus, no tour. Bingo, bango, you're off the hook. I'm driving the bus right now with a bunch of tourists. In fact, I just drove through a red light. Pop, you cut the brake line. Well, I cut something and would appreciate a thank you. I can't stop, I can't stop. That's the floor where they shot Titanic. Gordon Life, I gotta hop it on that bench. That silence full of candy. There's a bunch of zombies in that house. Ooh, zombies. You're headed right for the lake. It's okay, Pop. This is an amphibious bus. I don't know what that means. It's a bus and a boat. <laughs> yeah, right. Y'all right, kid? Better than the bus. Ah! Oh my god! Zombies! <sighs> so hungry. Best tour ever. I suppose the lesson here is that one should never lie to get ahead in a work situation. Nah, the lesson is you should always have a fall guy to blame in case you get caught. No, it's that you should never cut your mother out of a good scam. Would you guys shut up? We can't hear the TV. Pick a fucking dress already. They're all the same. This dress is so tight. Can you help me take it off? Oh! Wow! What the hell are we watching? Say yes. Oh, God. Yes, yes to the dress. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. But it's so beautiful. La 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 la